Welcome to a brand new podcast. And again, new day, new beginning. This is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. Let's say it again. Greatness. And I'm feeling very delicious. Very scrumptious. And again, thank you for all my supporters. We're going to keep this train rolling along. You can shop online. www.evolutionoflondon.com Once again, that's www.evolution.com It's our baby shopping mall where we have a wide range of products. Perfume, cologne, clothing, men's, ladies, kids' clothing. Uh, bathroom accessories, etc. Once again, etc. www.evolutionoflondon.org. O R G. There we have our custom clothes and custom accessories, as well as as well as digital products. So check us out there as well. www.evolutionoflondon.org. O R G. Ebooks and software, royalty9.gumroad.com. So, once again, that's royalty9.gumroad, G U M R O A D.com. So, check that out. Also, music by Cheap Limousine. Cheap Limousine, you can find his information. You go on YouTube, he have a, a major all major platforms, you links that will take you to I should say all of his major uh, platforms. So t- check out Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. And speaking about YouTube, our two channels we have on YouTube, which I need your guys to like, subscribe, and share. That's very important. Like, subscribe, and share. Greatness 19 channel. We have over 160 different videos on education to open up the third eye. And also our health and wellness channel. I need you guys to like, subscribe, and share as well. Don't sleep on that channel. It's a very good channel with very good information for you. So that's Mr. Evolution of London. So like, subscribe, and share. Or your guys prefer, I say, puff, puff, pass. I guess that's more funny. I can see the smiles on your faces. I'm looking at you. When I say puff, puff, pass. I see you smiling. Yeah, I know you don't want to smile, but I see. Check out Mr. Will. He's our fitness consultant over 15 years. Mr. Will, he have an email address of any uh, fitness consultation. Willie's Fitness 99 at gmail.com. So that's Willie's W I L L Y Z Fitness 99 at gmail.com. And also his website as well, www.wjaaccessories.com. There is a wide range of products, over 100 different products, uh, custom products. So definitely check him, check his information out as well. We have links uh, in our description box of the Oracle 19. You can find us on all major platforms, which is Anchor.fm, Google, iTunes, Apple, Spotify, just to name a few. Uh, Different links, uh, linktree.com forward slash Evolution of London. Our Patreon channel we have, www.patreon.com forward slash Evolution of London. There we have different videos. 
that is not posted on YouTube. So we are getting that. Any questions, concerns, you can always email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. And that same email address is for our Patreon, well, excuse me, for our PayPal, if you want to make a small will, uh, free will offering, same email, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. So definitely you can check us out there. And we do have a GoFundMe page, which is uh, in the links, uh, in our description box. So you can look at that as well. And for the Oracle 19, if you want to uh, subscribe to that channel, you can go on anchor.fm and you can uh, make a sm- small donation, or uh, which is free will offering, of course, or you can uh, subscribe to the uh, podcast through there, just as an example. So again, uh, all other information, you can just check it, it out in our description boxes of all the major platforms. So today, we're going to get right into it. Topic of today. The white man will not save you. Oh, no. Yeah, the white man will not save you. And a lot of times, it's really dedication to a lot of black people. So, white people and other races slightly step aside to this, but you can listen. See, a lot of times we have a problem within the, our community, which we feel, especially in this day and time, that the white man is your daddy. And especially with our uh, black women of today. If something goes wrong, you quickly will want to call the white police. If something is wrong, you quickly want to take the, your man to family court. You can go to your job and you will praise your white boss. But when you go home, you will disrespect your man. And a lot of times, and I'm dealing with the sisters for a moment, but we're going to get to the brothers as well. Certain words that will trigger you. And I mentioned this before to certain people. Ladies, and especially you black women. If a man, your man say, you need to obey me. And I say that again, you need to obey me, to submit to me. I can use different adjectives, different verbs, and that will get you triggered. You will feel a certain way. You'll say, ain't no man, I ain't going to obey no man, no man can't tell me nothing. Ah, ah, ah." That's what your man got to hear. But when you work, go to work for your boss, your white boss, if he tells you, you better be here, you better be here at work at nine o'clock. You, you there at 8.59 with a smile on your face. If you talking to your white boss or he's talking to you, you're not going to interrupt him. You're going to listen to him and you're going to be disciplined to listen to him and not say a word. But when you go home to your black man, you want to give him lip. If he's talking, you talking. If he say up, you say him down. You want to battle with your man. But that's your man. That's the one you lay with. That's the one you procreate with. That's the one that is paying the bills for the house. You don't want, uh-uh. You don't want to listen to him. 
No, 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 no. You don't want to listen to to your man. You want to listen to your white man. So my question is, why are you dealing with your black man if you can't listen to him? If you can listen to the white boss... He tells you when you're going to get paid. He tells you when you're when you're going to have a, a break. He tells you what you your criteria is on the job. And he used the word obey. He even plastered it on the wall. The criteria is obey this. Don't do this. You better not do this or you will be terminated. He give you orders and demands. Clear, concise, and cut. The end. You have no problem with that. But you don't want to obey your man. The question is, why? Why? It's a respect factor. We know this. But guess what, ladies? black women especially the white man will not be able to save you with everything that is going on in the streets the way society is you have white homeless people white men and women that is homeless degenerates on drugs foaming at the mouth, rolling around on the ground. And this white man is not saving them. So what makes you think he's going to be able to save you? I say this again. In your local cities and towns near you, you got white men, you got white degenerate men and women out here in these local downtowns in these cities foaming at the mouth, rolling around in the ground, sleeping on the concrete, on drugs, meth out, cracked out, bunch of degenerates. And your white man is not able to save them. So what makes you think he will be able to save you? That's my question something to think about it is what it is so the question I have to ask you can the white man save you something to think about Now, you black men, you being a, you know, keeping your head down at the job, trying to be nice, being docile, do you think the white man will be able to save you? You know, a lot of times, and I give you on the flip side, you be working for the white man and his system. You very docile, keep your head down, stutter in front of him. You, You just can't, you can't function very passive it's one way just to do business another way of just being all keckling and docile and not just being a man doing business but then when you go home and you're in front of your woman 
you want to pound your chest like an ape. Like you, the boss of all bosses. But when you're around, again, the job, you shuffling along. Like a freaking gorilla. Now, I know I'm being facetious with that. And borderline stereotypical. I can say that. Y'all other races can't. So watch your goddamn self. But push it forward. You guys, men, you a man. And it doesn't matter how nice you are at the job. The white man will not be able to save you. You can still be let go. No matter how sweet and nice and compliant you try to be. So don't depend on his workplace thinking he will be able to save you. If he's not saving his own and you see them out in the streets as degenerates, as I mentioned before, what makes you think he will be able to save you? And if you're a man, if you're going to be as a black man, you are a black man all the way. You are a black man in the light as well as a black man in the dark. You are a black man on the job as you are well as well as a black man at home. You stand on your square. Now you're doing business with other races. Nothing wrong with that. It's business. They do it to us. But you stand on your square. You're still a man. You're still a black man. Because the white man would would not be able to save you. It is what it is. And as I mentioned before, even you white people, you regular middle middle of the road, middle class and working class, to be technical, you're a white man, your brethren will not save you as well. Meaning the elitists. Because the elitists look at you as nothing. As food for the gods. If you really want to get down down and be technical. If that's not the case, look at your white brethren that's roaming around in the streets. Degenerates foaming at the mouth. Your elitist brethren don't give a damn about you neither. You just cattle. So, to be technical, it is what it is. And the rest of you are the racist too. I was, I'm, I'm going to extend my warmth and gentleness to you too. And goodwill. You other races. The rest of your other races. They don't, the white man will not save you as well.
they do not care about you neither. Sorry. As this world, as this economy is crumbling, as society is crumbling, he's not going to save you neither. So, just something to think about. So all the the smiley faces, all the the grinning, the question I have to ask you, will the white man and his economy save you? Thank you for listening. Thank you.